Good morning. How are you doing this morning? So I am not sure if you noticed, I did not post a video yesterday. And I mentioned early on, um, months ago, when I first started the videos, that when it started to feel um, a little heavier and it wasn't flowing as easily, I was. I, that's when I would know when to shift gears. So I went from seven days a week to five days a week and taking the weekends off. And now I'm feeling a little bit more of a shift that it's... Um, it feels better to come see you less uh, than more and then offer some resources in between some different little nuggets of information. I have no idea what that's going to look like yet. I'm still kind of feeling into it, you know, waiting for more information to percolate in my, in my psyche to know exactly what I'm going to be doing going forward. But I just wanted to give you a heads up. I'm going to be toying around with some things over the next couple of weeks until I can get into a new rhythm. So I'm just asking you to bear with me as I figure it out and kind of fine tune the um, messaging and the timing and things like that. I'm also working on some other projects for you. So a lot going on um, behind the scenes. So hopefully you um, don't mind being patient with me over the next few weeks. Okay, so I was feeling into today, I know typically I do um, a little chat about stoicism on Wednesdays, wasn't feeling that today. Um, you know, with the full moon eclipse on Sunday, there was, um, I've been, I've, I've seen it online um, be referred to as an eclipse hangover. I have been speaking to a few friends and we're all, we've all been feeling it the past few days. Um, friends and colleagues were just, it's been really, really uh, heavy energetically. I'm curious if you all have been feeling that as well. Like ever since the weekend, it's just been, I don't know, there's been something stirred up and there's been a bit of a heaviness in the, in the air, if you will. So today I thought it would be a great way to maybe, uh, what is it? An antidote to the heaviness is um, a little passage from the book, Be Happy. And uh, just kind of share a little bit about that and just some different things that you can do to shift the energy a bit. So for me, meditation and journaling are always my go-tos when I've got, you know, things on my mind or something feels like it's weighing on me, or I just have the sense of like, mm, something's not right. And I can't quite pinpoint it. I can't quite get to that little nugget. Um, you know, sitting quietly, even if you're thinking, oh, I can't meditate. I don't know how to meditate. I suck at meditating. Whatever your thought is around meditation, go into it with this mindset. You are going to sit quietly in a space that you love. So somewhere in your house, your favorite chair, um, your favorite cushion, maybe, uh, sitting underneath your favorite tree outside, sitting on your, on a chair in like your favorite spot in your yard, whatever it is, go to that, that space that you tend to feel like yourself. You, it always makes you feel good, um, or nurtured or comforted, go to that place. And maybe it's getting in your bed and like wrapping yourself up in the covers, even though it's summer, <laughs> something like that. Um, just go where you feel comfortable. It doesn't matter where it is. And then sit down, close your eyes and set the intention that you're going to get quiet and still and ask a question, whatever it is that's weighing on you. If you have a sense of it as to what the next best step is. And if you don't know, just ask for any information that would benefit you and wait to see what comes in. It may be a, um, it may be a whole story. It may be one word. It may be a number. It may be a symbol. It may be a feeling. It may be, um, just like maybe a tingle or a sensation somewhere in your body, you will get some information that's going to give you at least a starting point to dig into. And from there, ask some more questions. You know, whatever the symbol is, do you know what the symbol means? Um, if you don't, ask for more information. You'll get little nuggets, okay? And if you sit down and the first time you do it, you're having trouble or nothing is coming through, it's okay. Just take that time to go within. Focus on your heartbeat, slowing your heartbeat down. Focus on your breath. See if you can get your breath to be um, rhythmic and even. 
you know, very steady, very soft, very um, flowing. Um, connect with the earth if you can, if that's available to you or if that, and that feels good to you. There's often messages that we'll get just being out in nature. That's always a really beautiful place to be if uh, you're able to do that. And just tuning into your body will really help you get tuned into yourself, into your energetic field. So if you go out the first time and nothing really comes to you, don't fret. Just take that time to be still and quiet and then journal about the experience. Journal about what you felt. And, and when you journal, something may come through. That may be the time when you get your, your little message or your little nugget of wisdom. If you got information while you were sitting quietly, journal about that. Is there a step, action step you can take? Is there someone you can reach out to? Is there something you can do? And that will give you a sense of forward movement and momentum. It will give you a sense of, um, okay, direction. You know, where am I going? What am I doing? Uh, this is something maybe that needs to be cleared out. Maybe there's a step that you can take to, um, to, to feel more in alignment with the direction that you are already um, moving in. Um, what else did I want to say around that? Uh, yeah, it's just, it's a beautiful practice to get into, to get answers, to tune into yourself, to be more clear in where you would like to go and what is best for you and for those around you, because it's not just about us. It's about everyone that we come in contact with. It's our, um, our inner circle as well. Um, okay. So enough of that, the passage for today. So um, as some of you may know, basically how I do this with cards, with passages from books, is I, um, I'm i just intuitively called to certain, certain things. I flow with it, kind of like how I'm changing things up a little bit. I'm just flowing with what um, is coming to me. And in this book, I just kind of held my hand on the, on the book and just felt the pages until I found... Um, one that kind of gave me, I get a little tingle in my fingers or this feeling of like, yep, that's it. Um, and the uh, passage for today is be the best you can. This can transform your life. When you commit to your personal quest, unimagined possibilities open to you. Consider how you'd like to be remembered, then strive to match your potential. Here lies your real value and the path will reveal itself. So uh, actually, that's funny because that's somewhat in line with what I just shared about um, just being quiet and still and listening to yourself. There's a quote at the bottom also. We must understand what we have been to, to decide what we will become by John Faulkner, a very famous author, obviously. So I love that. I'm going to read that one one more time. We must understand what we have been to decide what we will become. And I think that's really uh, important right now for us to look back on our past, look, pa look back on the history of, um, of us, of, of, our, of, the so of society, of the collective, and determine what, what do we want to bring forward from the past? What do we want to carry with us? What do we want to leave there? Um, and what can we learn from the past going forward? What new decisions can we make? What new directions can we explore and see how they feel, see where they lead us to become the person that we would like to become? So, yeah, feels really good. I'm actually just giving you this message today, sharing this with you, um, brought a lightness to me. So maybe this was something important for me, direction and action step for me to take today. So I am wishing you the most beautiful, glorious day. Please remember we learn from one another. So if this feels like something that would benefit someone you care about, please do share. Um, I will see you here when I see you here. I'm not sure. It's going with the flow and seeing how it goes. But um, uh, yeah, talk to you soon. Bye for now.